Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 12. Let's get started. Today we will be learning how to represent the quotient as the number of groups or the number of objects in each group. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently. We will use math in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can solve for the unknown in a division problem. Let's draw a model to solve this division problem, where the unknown is how many in each group. So the first number is always the biggest number in the division equation. This is called a dividend. The dividend is eight, so we're dividing eight into smaller groups. And the second number in the division equation is a two. That's the divisor. It's how many groups. The final number after the equal sign is called the quotient. And the unknown in this equation is the quotient. We want to know how many in each group. So I've drawn a tape diagram or bar diagram to help me solve this equation, to help me solve for how many in one group. As you can see, my dividend is eight. That's how many in all. And I've labeled the bottom of my diagram with an eight. That's how many in all. The next is the divisor. That's how many groups I've divided the eight into. So I want to draw two boxes. Remember, in this type of diagram, the boxes are the number of groups. Finally, I want to solve for the unknown, which is how many in each group. So my label at the top for one group is a question mark because it's unknown. Let's put one in each group until we get eight in all. So we're basically using the fair share strategy, aren't we, to divide. One, one, two, two. We put one in each group until we get eight in all. Three, three, four, four. Okay, I have my eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight in all. I've got two groups, and now I know how many are in one group. So I can put a label up here instead of the question mark. There are eight in all. There are two groups. There are how many in each group? One, two, three, four. There are four in each group. Now I can complete my division equation because I've solved for the unknown. I've solved for how many in one group, and that is my quotient. I can say that eight divided by two equals four. Let's draw a model to solve this division problem where the unknown is how many groups. Eight divided by some number, which is the number of groups, equals two. How can we show this? Well, we're going to stay, start with eight in all, right? So we've got an eight on the bottom under the bracket to label how many in all. Now we don't know how many groups, so we can't yet draw our boxes. But we do know how many in one group. So that's why I put two in each column until I got to eight. 
How many in one group is always the number of objects in a column? How many groups is always the second number in a division equation? Let's draw boxes around groups of two until we get eight in all. Remember, our boxes are going to be columns, right? One, two, three, four. How many in each group? And how many groups? There are eight in all. There are two in each group, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. An equal number of two in every group. And there are how many groups? One, two, three, four. There are four groups. So now I can continue labeling my bar diagram or tape diagram. And the bottom label, this is very important to always have labels on your bar diagram or tape diagram. So the bottom label is how many in all, and I've got a bracket that goes all the way across the entire diagram. The red boxes are the number of groups. How many groups do we have? Four. So I have one, two, three, four boxes. And how many in one group? It's one, two. So at the top, I have my label for how many in one group the, the bracket spans the width of one box, and the number above is two. So this equation, written or drawn as a tape diagram, looks like this. All right, it's time to use this skill in our read, draw, write question. I sometimes call this the RDW. R stands for reading the question and picking out the most important information. That's another way of saying that we annotate the question. The D stands for draw a picture to help you solve the problem. Remember, you can use any math model unless it specifically states in the question that you are to use a certain math model. The final step is writing the answer as a sentence. You want to use your words to explain the solution and how you arrived at it. So this one we're doing together, I'm going to read it and annotate it first. There are 18 graham crackers in a box. When I'm annotating, I always want to look for numbers. That's important in math. 18 graham crackers in a box. So that means the whole box in all has 18 graham crackers. Shay eats two graham crackers each day. So each day is a group. And how many in the group would be two? How many days does it take Shay to eat all of the graham crackers in the box? That's my question. How many days. So how many groups of two? Draw a tape diagram and write a division equation to solve. So my draw step should include a tape diagram and a division equation just like we saw, right? Right here, a tape diagram and a division equation. All right, we're ready to go to our Jamboard. You at home can be working in paper and pencil. You could be working with a dry erase board, or if you have access to Google, you could go to a Jamboard just like I'm doing now. So to go to a Jamboard, I'm typing jamboard.google.com, or you can look in the description box below and you will see a link to the Jamboard. I'm pressing the plus sign. And you can pause this video at any time if you need time to catch up with materials. I'm pressing the pen button and selecting my color. 
I know I want to go back to the question so I can be very precise about my information. I'm reading it again. There are 18 in a box, so 18 in all, and she eats two graham crackers each day. How many days does it take Shay to eat all of the graham crackers in the box? So there are 18 in all, two in each group. So that means One, two, and I'm going to count by twos until I get to 18. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18. So I have my whole box of 18 graham crackers. Okay. And I have two in each group and I want to put boxes around it so I can find so I can find out how many groups there are. How many days. So this is one day, right? One day. There's two graham crackers. I want to know how many days. So there's two days, three days, four days, five days, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I just kept going, putting a line after each column of two. And I came up with nine. Awesome. Okay, so I've got my labels. I've got my boxes. I know how many boxes I have, so I know how many groups. Now I'm ready to write my division equation. And I always want to start with the dividend, which is the largest number, 18. And I divide that by the divisor, which is how many groups, and we said that was 9, equals the quotient, which is how many in each group, and we said that was 2. So I can say that 18 divided by 9 equals 2. Let's go back to our question and make sure that I have all the information that I need. 18 in all. Two in each day, how many days? We said it was nine days. I've drawn a tape diagram and I've written a division equation to solve. So I always want to check back with my question and make sure I've included everything that was asked for. And then I want to move on to the final step, which is write the answer as a sentence. I'm going to use information from the question. It says, how many days does it take Shay to eat all of the graham crackers in the box? So I'll say it takes Shay nine days. It takes Shay nine days to eat all of the graham crackers. I use a tape diagram to solve 18 divided by 9 equals 2. So I've used my words to explain. I've answered the question. I've explained how I arrived at my solution. I think I'm good. All right, so I've drawn it out. I've written my juicy answer. Now I can go to the presentation and see if I got it correct. Answer. It takes Shay nine days to eat the graham crackers because 18 divided by nine equals two. Good. So I answered it correctly. My wording does not have to equal the exact wording in the answer because I'm just doing the best that I can at my level, which is what you should do, the very best you can.
All right, are you ready to do it by yourself? If not, you can always go back and listen or watch the lesson again. But when you're ready, you're going to read this question again to yourself. You'll pause the video, you'll read it again, you'll take down any important information, you'll draw it out on pencil and paper, a dry erase board or a jam board on your own. And when you think you've got your answer and you've done your very best, you'll go to the description box below and you'll check your answer. Hazel makes scarecrows for the pumpkin patch. She has 18 sticks. Hazel uses nine sticks to make one scarecrow. How many scarecrows can she make? Draw a tape diagram and write a division equation to solve. All right, go do your very best and I will see you in the next video.